Hello, this is Jared Step with Facebook.com slash Jared Step Music, and uh, this is a video review of the Fishman Aura Spectrum. And you can see it right here, the Fishman Aura Spectrum. It uh, has a three band EQ, low, mid, high, has a compressor on it. Okay. Um, it also has a blend knob, which is a blend between. Um, the natural sound of the guitar and the model uh, that you're using. This this is basically it's a it's a direct box. It can be used as a direct box, um, but it is an acoustic modeler. It's trying to model what you would do if you were to mic uh, an acoustic guitar uh, with you know a great studio mic. Um, and give it that extra air and that extra presence that you would want in the studio in a live setting. Um, it has a great tuner on it. It uh, it can it can bypass well. It has an effects loop on it that you can send through it. It through has a phase switch, has a trim on it, um, a volume, and it has 16 um, banks of models, and there is. I'm sorry, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight banks of models, and there's 16 per, 16 um, presets per model. And you can um, hook it up to your computer and you can load your own presets into it. Uh, you could put user images in it. And basically, it's supposed to um, find the image of your specific guitar and, um, and, make your guitar sound like it is being played in a studio with a great studio mic and and it does a good job at that so to demonstrate that I'm gonna I've got my Taylor 810 CE and here it is acoustically on <laughs> a studio mic right this is the M Audio Sputnik I'm playing through So that's what it sounds like actually through a studio mic. Now let's put it into the Fishman Aura Spectrum and see what it does with that. All right, I've got it on an image here. I'm going to go to a dreadnought image here. So the, the blend is just a little bit in there. Now when I'm in the studio, sometimes I blend it a little bit higher. So this is gonna be straight up the image. Um. I'm gonna hear some more air there. I'm gonna blend it back down about two thirds image. it in the live setting and I set it and forget it this is a set it and forget it kind of a pedal for me on my acoustic guitar is about um, a little less than half uh, of the image and a little more than half of the guitar itself all right um, the EQ setting, normally I cut a little bit of the highs, cut a tiny bit of the lows, add a tiny bit of mids. 
Uh, depends on the sound system, so sometimes I walk into a room and it sounds different and I, I, I adjust that EQ and that gives me that flexibility to do that, which is a great, great thing. It has an anti-feedback thing where it will actually try and search and destroy feedback frequencies. Um, I haven't been able to use that effectively yet. Um, I've tried it a couple times and it's never quite worked out. Um, the tuner is awesome. I use that all the time. Um, but I set it and forget it in terms of the setting that I'm looking at. I set it for whatever guitar I'm using, have it already set when I come into a gig, and then just um, just run the, run the guitar right through it. Um, this is the first thing in my acoustic rig before my volume pedal and before the HD, the Pod HD 500 that I send it through as well. Any any other effects that I put on, I put on after this because this is I want this to be good. To, to me, this is kind of tonally part of the uh, the sound here. You can do a lot of things with it. Um, you can go over to this kind of bluegrass um, thing and and change the the sound of your guitar significantly then. Um, right? There's some kind of mandolin y things and stuff in there. Um, but I don't use it for that. I use it to make my acoustic guitar sound better. Um, I, I use it even more often to make my hybrid guitars sound more acoustic. So, let me show you what that's like. Um, I have here my Parkwood Hybrid. It is actually an electric guitar, obviously. It has electric guitar strings. Um, most hybrids do. I have an Ibanez Montage, which is a hybrid guitar that ha that's built for acoustic guitar strings. That's a rare thing, the only other one that I know of is the um, Crowdster, uh, which is a very expensive, very awesome guitar. All right, so. So this is on the straight up piezo. Um, all you're hearing is the piezo pickup of this guitar. Um, you know, acoustically, this is what it sounds like. All right, now here we go. And that's 100% blend. Now let's go back down to where I like it. This is about right under half blend. Now Fishman tells will tell you that this is not what this um, unit is built for. It's not built to make a uh, electric guitar sound more acoustic or a hybrid guitar sound uh, better acoustically. Um, however, it, it, it helps. I found that it helps my acoustic sound. I'd rather have it than not. If nothing else, it's a, it's a way that you can EQ your guitar. I have an EQ on it. I've got a tuner on it, which I need. I need uh, some compression, um, and then it sweetens up that acoustic sound just slightly, and uh, I can EQ out some bad frequencies or put in some good frequencies per whatever gig I'm in. But ultimately, it is a set it and forget it pedal for me. It's a great pedal. Um, I got it on the used market again, uh, pretty cheaply, and uh, it's it's a pretty expensive pedal new. Um, but it's high, it's, it's a high power pedal, very worth it. And I, I